Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about meter and tufts. We're gonna jump into the whiteboard in a second and we're gonna analyze tufts and meters. I'll show you how can you identify a tuft, how can you identify a meter, what is the difference between the difference between these two weather reports and then what consideration you should do when actually reading these weather reports. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into the whiteboard and discuss the meters and the tufts. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I help you to become a pilot. So if this is what you want to do, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video. All right, so let's jump into the whiteboard and let's talk about meter and tabs. So first of all, guys, as you can see in the whiteboard in here, we've got this uh, weather report. Okay, this is a, I've done this from Simbrief.com. It's a great website. I strongly recommend to to check that out. Okay, but anyway. I prepared a flight, in this case was from Madrid to Istanbul, okay, and what happened is that because the, I, I saw the weather was bad in that part of the, of, the, of the world, okay, from Madrid to Istanbul, in that case I had more information on the meter and the tough to talk about, okay. So, as you can see down here, we've got the departure airport, the destination airport, and then the destination alternate airport, okay. So, every, every airport, like for example the departure airport Madrid, okay, has got these weather reports in here, and the destination Istanbul has got these weather reports in there, okay. I know it might seem very long, but it's not that very difficult to understand and actually uh, analyze, okay. So, first of all guys, my first question is, how can you identify what is a meter and what is a tough into this weather report? Because as you can see, it looks like that there is a single weather report in here. However, the first thing is that a meter, okay, is indicated by this SA, okay, so whenever you see SA, that means that that is a meter report, okay, meter, SA, okay, so this strip in here is the meter. Okay, and the below that is FT, FT forecast means tough. Okay, so this is the forecast weather. Okay, FT in here, as you can see in there and in there as well. So this is the forecast FT and the SA is the meter. So what is the difference between meter and tough? Is that the meter is an observation, okay, is a weather observation at that airport. So in that case, in Madrid, okay, has got this is the weather observation at that particular moment, okay. So it only it's only available and uh, um, valid for that moment because when the weather changes, that report is not longer valid, okay. That's the meter. The tough, as I said, tough forecast is the forecast, the weather forecast uh, for the for the day normally, okay. You might have a thirty hours. A, um, a tough report that is valid for 30 hours or 24 hours, for example, okay? So, in this case, as you can see in here, okay, this is the tough. So, in fact, the, normally the tough, when the weather is bad, you got a longer tough because it actually tells you what is the weather, what is going to be the weather like throughout the day, okay? So, this is four lines, this is super long, as you can see from here all the way down there. This is the tough for Istanbul, okay? Fantastic. So, now that we actually know what is the difference between a tough and between and the meter, we can actually start to analyze that, okay? The first thing that we need to consider is that the meter normally, normally 90% of the time is uh, issued every half an hour. So every half an hour they do a weather observation at the, at the airport and they issue a new meter. So every half an hour, okay, you're gonna have a new meter report, okay? If the weather change very rapidly, okay, so between one meter and another one, and another one you're gonna have a space. The space is, by, is basically a meter that actually alerts you that there has been a big change within this half an hour, okay? Some airports, they still do one hour meter, so that means that they report the meter every hour, okay? But normally it's half an hour. The tough, even though, like in this case, I'll show you later, but in this case, this is a, a 30, 30 hours tough, that means that within this report you're gonna have 30 hours of weather forecast covered. However, the tough is issued every six hours. Okay, so every even though the tough itself is valid for 30 hours, every six hours you've got a new tough with a new forecast. It's okay, more accurate, okay, because the weather can change in 30 hours, as you uh, understand. Okay, so what is the big problem in here is that the, the meter is only valid as an observation. So if I'm doing a five hours flight, I don't care about the meter. I mean, I care, but not that much because 
I don't care if the weather is nice now at that, that my destination airport, okay? Because if I have to be there in five hours, I want to know what's the weather like in five hours. I know now. So sometimes you find a matter when you are about to fly, okay? You will see the matter of your destination that may be five hours away, which is great. And then you read through the tough, and by the time you get there, the weather is very bad. So that's why. On the planning stage, it's very good to check the, the tough, okay? Still read the meta, still see what it is, but make sure you understand. If you are doing an half an hour flight or an hour flight, then the meta is important because the weather can change in half an hour, but normally if it's a clear day, okay, it's very rare that in half an hour you're gonna have a bad weather in there. All right, so guys, today I'm not gonna go really deep to understand, to tell you how can you read the meter, how can you read the tough. The meter, I've done a separate video, but I'm gonna do a separate video about the tough as well. Today, I'm just gonna read through and then I'll make some considerations about these two weather reports, okay? So the first one, let's analyze our departure weather uh, report. So, as we said, SA means meter, okay? So the first, the first digits in here, okay? So the first two, zero, 01 is the date, okay? So this one, the, this is the first of June, okay? 0744 is the time of this observation. So as we said, normally you get this tough, sorry, this meter every half an hour. So the next one is going to be 08, uh, how much is it? 0814, uh, the next one, okay? So then we've got 0 to 0, which is the wind direction and 2 knots. 2 kappa t, kt means knots, okay? So the thing, this is the first thing that we need to talk about, okay? 0 to 0, so that means that there is a northerly wind coming from the north, and this is a, a true uh, direction, so it takes, it takes into consideration, the, as a reference, the true north, okay? The, not the magnetic north. Then we've got the visibility, 9999, it means the 10 kilometers or more. That's the cloud coverage, okay? Few at 1,200 feet scattered at 6,000 feet, okay? And then you've got the temperature in there, temperature 1.8, as you can see in there, then dew point 1.6, okay? As I did a video about that already, okay? So when you've got temperature and dew point that are close, you might have some condensations. Means that you might find that you're gonna have low level clouds, some uh, low visibility and so on, when the dew point and the temperature are very close, okay? So then you got Q1012, means Q and H1012, and I made lots of videos about the Q and H, no significant changes, okay? So that means that, this weather, this meter, this uh, observation of the weather is actually telling us that we've got quite good weather, okay? So, what is important for me to tell you is that every meter has got the same kind of uh, uh, structure, okay? So you have the wind first, the visibility after, then you've got the, 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 the clouds, okay? Then you've got the temperature and dew point, and then you've got the Q&H, and then you've got any other remark that is important, okay? But anyway, normally is wind, visibility, cloud coverage, temperature, dew point, Q&H, okay? So as you can see in here, we've got wind, which is a bit longer, and I'll explain what it is in a second. Then you've got uh, the temperature, sorry, the visibility in there, cloud coverage in there, and then you've got temperature dew point, and then you've got the Q and H, okay? In this case, you have some remarks because the, the weather is not great there, okay? But we're gonna talk about that in a second, okay? So the second weather report, okay? And guys, by the way, if you have any question about the meter, because again, I'm not here to tell you step by step what everything means, but if you have any question, leave a comment below, and then I will help you out. So the second uh, weather, Report is the tough guys. So again, this is 010500. So date and time of the observation. Okay. So what it says, it says that. Uh, oops, sorry. So it says that basically this tough is valid from 1st of June at 0600 UTC until the 2nd of June until 12 o'clock UTC. So that means that this tough, this weather forecast, is valid for 30 hours. Okay. So. Let's analyze it, okay? So we've got normally from here to there in these 30 hours, generally speaking, we have a, a wind that is variable for knots, so low winds, okay? Good, oh, sorry, good visibility, uh, more than 10 kilometers, a scattered cloud at 6,000 feet, our cloud layer, okay? Tx means uh, the highest temperature within these 30 hours window is gonna be 27 uh, degrees. And that's the time at which we're gonna have the uh, the highest temperature. So we're gonna have the highest temperature within the 30 hours within this 30 hours window on the 1st of June at 14 uh, o'clock Zulu. Okay. Then the lowest temperature within this 30 hours 
uh, window is gonna be 30 degrees and it's gonna be at the uh, 2nd of June at 5 o'clock uh, UTC, okay? 050, all right? Great. Then we've got a probability of 40% at tempo between, so that means we've got high probability that temporary between the 0600 of the 1st of June and the 15 of the 1st of June. So this, uh, how many hours is it called? Like nine hours, is it? This night, within these hours, okay, we're gonna have showers rain, okay, so we're gonna have rain with showers, we're gonna have clouds at 4,000 with towers cumulus, with some cumulus in there, okay? So guys, again, I'm not here to explain exactly every term, what does it mean? If you really need, go to, in Google and Google, the, uh, like for example, TAF abbreviations, and then you're gonna have the list of all of them, okay? Then again, it says, we've got a low possibility, probability of 30%, temporary, between the 06 of the 1st of June and the 10 of the 1st of June, so a window that starts at the same year but ends up bef before this one, okay? The wind's gonna be variable 15 knots, okay? So you're gonna have a 15 knots wind variable gusting up to 25 knots, okay? The visibility will go down, okay? 2000 meters of visibility. We're gonna have thunderstorms, TS thunderstorms. Rain, air A, okay, rain, and then we're gonna, the clouds gonna be broken at 4,000 feet with some cumulus, okay? Then we're gonna have tempo, again, temporary between the uh, 0800 uh, UTC uh, of the first until 0118 on the first, so we've got this uh, 10 hours, uh, 10 hours window, we're gonna have the wind of 230 degrees at 10 knots, okay? So guys, what is telling us that generally between these 30 hours guys okay between 6 and 12 okay we're gonna have generally speaking good weather okay because you're saying between this window we're gonna have variable for knots 10 or more uh, 10 kilometers or more of visibility good scatter 6,000 feet and then some temperature information however between these windows from 0 6 and 15 and from 0 6 and then, okay, you, we might have showers rain, thunderstorms rain, uh, uh, strong winds, low visibility, cumulonems, and so on, okay? So, if you want to, if you can decide, decide just land after 15 uh, uh, o'clock, okay, so land later, okay? Because that is when you're gonna leave all the weather behind. Now, it might take two hours of, uh, of, uh, of delay on your landing, you know, if you can, especially if you're flying VFR, for example, you want to land there, just land at 17 Zulu, okay, or 18, whatever you can, but try, if you can, not to land there at that time, whenever you can. As an airline pilot, you don't decide when to land because you should follow the schedule, however, you can delay due to the weather, okay, as a commander, you might take this uh, decision. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy this, uh, this video about metal and tough. As you can see below, we've got a huge weather for, uh, report for Istanbul, okay? And I'm gonna do a separate video where we're gonna explain that, okay, as well. So, if you have any questions, guys, about this metal and tough, just leave a comment below and I will help you out. Also, go to paroclimb.com where you can subscribe for free paro training comment. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.